Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with my empties for the month of May. I'm gonna do the usual, show you guys, you know, some different categories and show you guys what I used up this month and whether or not I liked it or recommend it. Um, there's some extra cleaning supplies this month. We basically finished the house, so I had a lot of cleaning to do the past couple of weeks and we just threw our first party over the weekend. So, um, yeah. So, I'll just get right into it. Um, my husband used up a Yardley London English Lavender Soap. He loves this brand and he loves anything lavender. So this would be a definite repurchase. We used up a, well I used up a Harman Face Value Refresh and Cool Moisturizing Beauty Bar in Cucumber and Green Tea. Absolutely love this. It's so creamy and I do definitely recommend it if you're looking for a creamier soap than Dove. I used up a Bath and Body Works Eucalyptus Spearmint Body, uh, body Lotion. Great scent um, for aromatherapy. I do recommend that. Next is Mediterranean Blue Waters Shower Gel. This I wouldn't repurchase. It was a very generic Bath & Body Works scent. It wasn't anything too special. So I would definitely skip that. Um, it, it, this is a year old anyway. I got it last year at the semi-annual sale. But if they were to come out with it, I wouldn't repurchase it again. Unless, I mean, if I got it for like a dollar, <laughs> I would get it. But otherwise, I wouldn't get it. Um... <clears throat> We used up one of these Dial Seasonal Collection Ice Berries. Um, I got this from the Dollar Tree. I loved it. It was nice and creamy, so I would get that one again. We actually finished up two of these of the lavender and chamomile. I had a party over the weekend, and one of the guests threw in the garbage because um, it was empty. They didn't, obviously don't know I do these empty videos, so one of them got tossed. But we like the scent. Uh, I got these at... Uh, CVS when they were on clearance for 75 cents, I believe. So this is a great scent. I do recommend that. And next is the Up and Up brand moisturizing hand soap and aloe vera. This I kept in my kitchen. It was very creamy and I would repurchase this again. So if you guys hang on, I'll switch these out and show you guys some more. Okay, next is like the personal care stuff that we finished up. Use a Garnier Fructis um, Fortifying Shampoo. Love them. Their scents are always good and they work really nicely on my hair. We finished up two conditioners. One is the Pantene Damage Detox. Love Pantene. Same thing with this one though. It was very hard to squeeze for some reason. I don't know if they changed the packaging slightly, but it's been kind of annoying. I have to do it like this and push really hard up because I can't get it like this. I don't know. It's been really weird. But I do like the scent and it works well, so I will continue purchasing those. Next is another Garnier Fructis. This is a conditioner. And this is in full and plush. There's actually probably a drop left. I may bring this back in the shower and just um, fill it with water again. I usually do that when things are empty. But yeah. <clears throat> um, my husband used up a tea gel therapeutic shampoo. His dermatologist recommended this. He's prone to getting acne in his scalp. Since he's been using it, he hasn't gotten any, so this is definitely a repurchase for us. I use up some Proactive. One is my uh, Step 1, my Step 3, and my Purify, well, sorry, that's like so glary, my Skin Purifying Mask I finished up. Um, Proactive I really enjoy, so I definitely will repurchase that again. Used up a Listerine Cool Mint mouthwash that's always a repurchase so is my degree that is always repurchased for me colgate max fresh this was free through couponing used up a d3 vitamins from cvs that's a repurchase because they always go on sale really cheap and i used up an eczema anti-itch cream uh there's still some left actually uh, actually a nice amount but it expired um if you can see it Th this month, well, the end of last month, so had to get rid of that. So if you guys hang on, I'll show you guys some more. Okay, last but not least is the cleaning supplies. We actually went through a lot of stuff this month. Like I said, we basically finished the inside of our house after about um, almost 15 months, I'd say, since we lived here. Things are basically done, all the major constructions done. So I cleaned the heck out of the house the past couple weeks. We finally had company over, like a big party. I've had people over like in small amounts, 
but not, it hasn't been too comfortable because things haven't been finished. But now that we're actually done, I was able to have a big party and um, I'm just really excited to get the use out of my house now that I intended. <laughs> but yeah, so we're getting right into it. Um, we use up two of these Tide Simply. I love them. They go on sale fairly frequently where you get them for about 99 cents. That one's like the sensitive and this one's Simply Clean and Fresh. About 25 loads in these. So that's like about, you know, I, I, my laundry varies, but so if, even if I did one a day, one of those will last about a month, I say. So, uh, I just finished one up two, uh, two days ago. So about a month or so you use up one. Definitely recommend them. Good price and they smell good. Use up one of these like air purifier thingies. This one was from Dollar Tree. It was a two pack. Didn't really like it. Wasn't a great scent throw, so I wouldn't repurchase these. Used up two of the 80 wipes of Lysol. Um, like I said, I cleaned a lot this month, like super cleaning. And just get cleaning things in the garage and things outside. So I went through two of those. Those are always a repurchase. And I have gotten the, the Dollar Tree ones in the past. Don't really like them. So I'm going to stick with Lysol. Um, next, we finished a Windex Multi-Surface Spray. This one's great. You can use it on most surfaces. I really do like that. Um, my Holy Grail Carpet Refresher. Now that all the regular carpets are out of the house, we just have like the throw rugs like this. So they're pr they work perfect for that. Next is Scrubbing Bubbles Toilet Gel. This is a Holy Grail product for me also. I love it. I will always repurchase. Next is Arm & Hammer Fresh & Soft um, Shower, sh um, not shower, dryer sheets. They work really good and they smell good. So I would definitely repurchase those again. Tide Pods. I got these for $0.94. Cents. Um, I'm not crazy about the pods. I'd rather do the liquid. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like... I, I don't like to do a half load. I do like a full load. So I always have to use two of these when I do it. So it's 16 in the pack for 94 Well, they're usually three ninety four, But when they have the $3 coupon, and then uh, if I have a CRT at CVS, I usually get them for around $0.94. Cents. But if I need to use two every time... That's only eight loads that I'll do because there's 16 pods, so two per load. Um, whereas this one, I can get it for 99 cents and it's 25 loads. And I fill it to the top of my thing. So I think the jugs are actually a be better bargain. So I think I might stay away from getting these just because, I mean, it's nice to get them for cheap because it is a name brand. And it is, you know, like the pods and stuff. But I just don't feel the benefit of doing it if I have to use more, if that makes sense. Um, next we finished Brillo to just like scouring pads and a box of hefty garbage bags, citrus twist. These were good. Um, my CVS haven't, hasn't had the citrus one in a while. So the last times I hauled garbage bags, I think they were the, just the Arm & Hammer regular non-scented ones. And we got, I think, lavender. But I do prefer the citrus twist. And we used a five dawn this month. Um, like I said, I was cleaning a lot of stuff in the cabinets. Just extra china wear and stuff that I had. Um, yeah, so always a repurchase. And yeah, so this is all my stuff for the month. Not too crazy. Uh, I haven't, finally, I've been able to start really burning candles again. My melt, I've just been so busy. So hopefully in the next few months you'll see me having more of those in my empties. And my birthday was yesterday. And you know, like I said, I had a party. So I got like a bunch of presents from my friends and I got candles. I have, they know I like candles. So I have to start really going through them because I do have a nice amount. And I said I won't buy any more until I'm down to like, I, I want to say I want, I do it by season the way I store them and like everyday candles. So I don't want more than like, I don't want to buy more until I'm down to like five of a certain season, which is going to take me probably this year and next year, I'd say, because I have, I have probably 70 candles, 80 candles, I want to say. Um, I don't know the exact amount. I have a video that I did a few months ago about my candles collection, but I have gotten some new ones, you know, from gifts and just things like that, or people not wanting old candles. So, yeah, hopefully in the next few empties, you'll see me using up some candles. <laughs> But yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Um, I know a lot of people, I, I get the analytics. A lot of people 
like to, you know, they'll watch my videos, but they won't subscribe. I don't know if a lot of people know you, you know, you can do that. But the benefit of subscribing is I'll be on your list and you can see when I have new videos out. Um, and for people who normally watch me, I'm sorry I didn't put many videos up last week. It was just such a crazy busy week. So hopefully, um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to go CVS shopping this week. Um, I didn't even look at the ad yet. I didn't even look at, you know, other people's videos, see the deals people did. I just been so busy, so I may skip this week um, and just start fresh, you know, with the ad I get this week. I can do a little preview, the coupon preview, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, uh, I am done babbling. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.